Uh, you think Greg will uh, still keep his job after tonight? <laughs> Dude, you did awesome. You're still doing awesome. Let's get the logo up there. Beautiful. All right. In three, two. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, we're back in the clubs. Remember the clubs back in the oh day, Oh, my Susan? God. Remember us dancing? Yeah. Oh Remember we used God. to go out as a group all the we time? We always were dancing. I know. We had a good With Rocco time, Parente. I don't oh. know about that. I don't, you don't yeah. know Rocco? No, I missed that day. I know Rocco. Oh, a we great were guy. always dancing. But I didn't know it. Guys, <laughs> welcome to Live from Fort Lee Studios. I'm welcome, Chris Tapiro. Everybody. This is the beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous... Thank you, Chris. Silvana Mastrolia. <laughs> Did you see something? Look at it. Say hello uh, to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight on the show, we have the famous... Yes. Actress, comedian, yes. multi-talented Beautiful. Susan Campanero yes. on the show. Yes. Yeah, I'm I just so want to get some words in quick be before here. she starts talking over me. Oh, uh, I mean, come on. And with her is her handsome fiance, Michael Raymer. Yes. Great photographer yes. from New York yes. City. Guys, yes. if you need anything, you could search him on Facebook. Look at his pictures. We'll see a few tonight. Just an uh, amazing... Uh, transplant from beautiful Florida. Yes. Yes. Florida. Florida. Thanks Florida. for having me. I love this city. Yeah. Well, amazing. we love you having love you. This yes. woman. Well, you know, we have a love hate thing going, me and Susan, but it's all right. Well, I never liked you. Well, I never There's liked no, you either. Yeah. It's You're just, the, the worst best friend a person could have. It was always <laughs> off on the wrong foot. Yeah. It, that's your the way foot. it happened. Your foot. It was your fault. You came in and, you know, you thought you weren't in the show when I came into the show. So you had nothing to do with me coming into the show. I, can, I don't have to thank you for squat. Next thing I know, we're moving uptown to uh, Times Square, and uh, you know, you're in the show. Yeah, I don't know. You know. And you know what your thing is, is that you have control issues. Just because nobody told you like what was going to happen in your little Chris world, you were upset. Well, you know what happened? I came into your life, and you've been laughing ever since. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's egotistical or not, but basically I shoot what I like. Yeah. And I hope somebody else does. And it's turning out that other people do, too. Yes. But, uh, yeah, I don't um, – I mean, every once in a while I get hired to, to do stuff, and I have jobs and stuff. But I just carry a camera. Yeah. And when I You're see something that looks cool. You're doing such an amazing cool. job. Oh, I have that a great is, I mean, story. Beautiful. And the pictures that you take of this beautiful woman. Well, oh, well. this is my professional supermodel. Oh, right. Oh, God. yeah. At 5'2". Exactly. So he had a photo shoot in, in South Florida, and so we went down, and he shot this family. And it was hilarious to get these the, – it's like – Ten people. Ten people all together who really don't want to be having a photo family shoot. Yep. But and a little he, dysfunctional family, too. He did. Really. A little dysfunctional. But they're nice people. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. So I was wrangling them. Sounds like. There's a nice picture. So we got them on the dock. Wow. What? Where what? Can we see, guys, take, Go ahead. Keep Put that the up there. Up. Oh, that, he just that was in, that, that like two days, three days ago. Yeah, that was in Central Park. It was a surprise um, proposal. Wow. wow. The, the guy surprised. He, he hired us to uh, take pictures of him uh, in Central Park with his, and his fiance. He surprised her. And that's right after she, um, you know. Said she said yes. yes. She did say yeah, yes. Yeah, she looks like she was like I mean, a, almost up emotional, like kind of crying. Too. I mean, come on. And you almost have Chris. To, I didn't see her on Tinder. Listen. She's not on Tinder. <laughs> no, she wasn't. What the fuck is so funny about He's that? He's a doctor. She right? she's can't not going on be Tinder. on Tinder when she's getting engaged. Okay. We did a photo shoot, Mike and I, impromptu photo shoot. Um, I wish you could pull up those pictures. How about, he, <coughs> how about the engaged? Oh. oh. That's us on the terrace. Oh. Yeah, there we are. Oh, there we but are. I, I'd love you to go to the impromptu Those photo are homemade shoot. Uh, onion rings, by the way. Oh, the he best. makes the Come best on, onion rings. How many times do you want to throw off that oh, terrace? I love right. onion rings. Yeah, right. no, yeah no. today. <laughs> today, because I was a half hour late. Oh, Maron, don't be late. Oh, my God. I go through the same thing. <laughs> I was late because I was talking to Janine Molinari, one of my favorite people on the planet. Oh, I, we love Janine. I Hi, lost, Janine. I lost track love of time. Janine. <laughs> So, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, it so must have been a very interesting shoot. conversation. Always. We were at this photo shoot in South Florida, and the mother is, like, running to get her shoe on. <laughs> and we're on a dock that has rocks here and water here, and she barrels me over and knocks me down. Yeah. It was crazy. And I, <laughs> no, had, no, it, I had all of Mike's cameras in my hand. I mean, I could have broke all of his cameras. Did you break any? No, oh, nothing. Ba- nothing broke and wow. nothing went in the water. Ankle. <laughs> Sorry, I Did said you? F. No. <laughs> Sorry, people in America. 
<laughs> so I'm, I'm, I was just looking out for the cameras. But I mean, just, yeah, I, no cameras got wet. But I, I was, I was like, oh. wow, you're amazing, Susie, and in and, and more ways than I could, than I knew could ever imagine. Oh. Because I learned, I would have dance every Molinari camera. to land been... on your butt because it has the most right. padding. And not to play uh, bad cop, good cop, but I don't like Susan. I don't really deep down inside, Susan. We have a history of not liking each other. Well, you're annoying. And it comes out. No, it's not me. It's not me. Well, because my mom tells me if somebody has a problem with me, they have the problem. Oh, that's what my mom says. (laughs) You know what I have a problem with is that you're grumpy. This girl invited me. See, (laughs) we were talking about this earlier. Uh, She invited me to a Yankee game. Oh, right. right. Come I to a Yankee game. My, my my brother, my your brother goes to every fucking Yankee game out there. You said F. I said F. <laughs> oh, so now F is F is feasible. <laughs> I get invited. Did you see Jeter get his his number? No, no. But your brother did. Did you? Of too? course. He, no. Oh. Oh. I have something to tell you off topic. Oh, Listen, I know you don't like me, but I have information. If you want to go into the Monument Museum, you got to go with a Floridian who wants to get there three hours early. The Monument because Museum. The, <laughs> you could go see the monuments. My brother who goes, hi, Giovanni. G, my brother owns my a hair salon. Oh, he's amazing. Giovanni hi, Sacci. Giovanni, you're the amazing. The table's taking a beat oh, tonight. Well. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You get to the monument park around 5 o'clock. They let you in. You don't have to wait in line, and you could see all the little monuments. You could see Phil Rizzuto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, what? A picture of him? No, the monument. Oh, okay. His little that's, plaque. That's the one person you, you picked was Phil Rizzuto. <laughs> I can't, he's Italian. I didn't hear the first two words. You really didn't say, <laughs> she says sentences with just breathing and, and just. But she had the t- she, she had she the figured. T-shirt. Uh, She's not embarrassed. Oh, oh my God! She's... <laughs> Can you lower the headphones? Not She's the main amazing. mix, Greg. Just no. the headphone, right Greg next to the main nervous. mix. He, Greg is awesome. Him nervous. Let me tell you, we threw him right into the fire. We were like, no, just stand there, hit the buttons, Greg. And next thing you know, Greg now he's is, into it. He's gonna have an aneurysm. He's doing great. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 he's Greg, totally gonna have an aneurysm. He's still recovered from Metallica. This guy went to Metallica. Oh yeah, oh, yeah Greg, he loved put it. The camera on, on yourself. He's got all his friends from Greece. Liz Singer that is are watching. watching. <laughs> Liz, my <laughs> sister's watching. Liz Singer. We, That's my yeah, sister. She's no, a rock we love, star. We love you, Liz. My sister is such a rock star. She, she runs a marathon a week. I don't know what yeah. next year. But they're they're like <laughs> she just says I'm gonna do a marathon each month for charity and. She just does it. Wow. She's a maniac. Yeah. I love her. She's the best big sister. Really? Yeah, because she'll do anything I ask her to. Like when I was a drunk Mm -hmm. and I would be lost in the woods in Tallahassee, Florida. Now. No. That's what we're getting to. (laughs) No, this was before (laughs) cell phones. My sister, which she reminds me of every time I see her, that she would have to find me in the woods. There were no cell phones. Mm -hmm. Where I found a pay phone, God only knows. Mm -hmm. And she would say, I don't know where I am. She said I would say, I'm by a tree and there's a pond. And she would find me. Wow. Now that's a big sister. Are you a tree hugger? Do you love the forest and the woods? No, I was drunk and I was just in the woods. Uh I don't love the woods. Because you know, (laughs) you know, well, you know what my name means, Silvana? Woods. Boring. Of the woods. (laughs) Of of the woods, <laughs> yes, of the woods. <laughs> I am the wooden tree. Do you know who uh, Lou Costello is? <laughs> and I love him. <laughs> and I want you to love me. That's boring. Oh my God! No, did I say that? Yes, you you're did. the no, last person from boring. Let's go oh, back on time. Yeah. No, my fiance. So the Yankee game gets rained so out. So boring. And you so know, you th- I think that I go to the when it's car. made up. I'm going to go to the next game. No, she owes you one. Nothing. Nothing. You snooze, you lose. It rained. That was the day. I Forget blame it. your brother, but, you know, I love your brother. I love my he's, brother. He's an amazing person. He's fantastic. He's the best. And his, yeah. his beautiful uh, yes. girlfriend? Sachi. A wife. wife. Wife, I'm so sorry. What's oh the matter? She's not something? on Tinder, Chris. I, mean, I, I hit Why you under you the t- table. For what? For calling me boring. Oh, that was 10 <laughs> minutes ago. She just got it. What was I? No, oh, I got it then. But yeah. Let's go further back in the <laughs> story when we were talking about how grumpy you are. Well, for, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I love that. I'm I think you that. guys are just too happy. I'm normal. Well, Silvana is and it super comes happy. fake. Silvana is super happy. That is only in the presence of such wonderful, great, inspiring oh. light. That's all around me. Trust me, because I, I had a very heavy heart today, and um, you know, you know, 
at Fort Lee Studios, all of us, our thoughts and prayers are to all those that um, mm. lost their lives and their loved ones in this tragic situation. And uh, yes, and um, you know, our hearts were heavy and we just send our love and we hope to elevate the vibration, and um, and we send our love out there. But anyway, that's very nice how it started. Very that's nice how acknowledge it along, started. Yeah. And then I wound up getting surprised by seeing this beautiful, yeah, he didn't tell talented you. goddess in my presence. He was afraid to tell you I was <laughs> coming because he was afraid there would be too many texts and phone calls. <laughs> Right? Probably. <laughs> Wouldn't get but I done. wish that you would have told her because maybe she would have brought some cannoli yes. or something. So it is in your presence that I could be this happy. You know who I love? Before. Who it? I love is your I'm father confused. and mother. <laughs> they love you so Oh, my much. God. Wow. They are so cute. They're probably yeah. watching. Hi. Hi. And they're definitely watching. Mom, she's going to sing a song. Yeah, I'll sing. Wait, oh, hold on yeah. to your pants. Oh, <laughs> gosh, <don't. laughs> oh gosh. Hold don't on go. to your pants. Hold yeah, pants on to uh, everything yeah. that you got because... <laughs> special night. Yeah. A very special <laughs> night. A very, very special, special people. So okay. grateful to be here. Yeah. Okay, since you brought that up, let's what? let's talk about uh, your engagement real quick. Oh, yeah. Look, you know? okay. So, first of all, Michael, what is the name of the artist who made our ring? Her name's Lisa. Lisa, and, and she has a shop in Stewart, in Florida. In Jensen Beach, Florida. Yeah. She actually is a, a glass artist. It's she does so this beautiful. amazing, Isn't it's it? absolutely amazing, stunning, um, glass, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. glass work. And um, the story is we were just walking around one day in Jensen Beach, Florida, downtown. New Year's there. Day. New Year's Day. Wow. And uh, I walked day. in Thank there. God. And Thank she God it wasn't, wasn't on there. my birthday. She Go wasn't ahead. there. <laughs> And she wasn't there, uh, and I was like, yeah, what are we doing? And then I saw this ring, and I thought, you know what? I'm getting old. She's good looking. <laughs> I got to do something here. And uh, that's how it worked. <laughs> well, you know. So, <laughs> very truth, romantic. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was beautiful. so romantic. That was awesome. And, but the really romantic <laughs> part about it was... Then we went back to his apartment and we saw his neighbor <laughs> who had tickets to the my aunt, uh, uh, to the Florida State Florida Michigan State Orange Bowl. Orange Bowl wow, game. wow! And so he said, do you, "I said it's my alma mater because I'm a graduate of FSU. So is my sister Liz. Yo, yo, go Knowles. But I never went to a football game because I was too drunk. She'd never and been to a football game <laughs> ever, not just because, in college. Yeah, because I was drunk and I didn't care. So I, I didn't ever go. And so I said to the guy, he said they were 125 apiece. So I looked at Mike and I was like, eh, yeah. if I didn't go all through college, we don't need to spend 250 bucks to go to a game. So then, half hour later, we're just chilling. He knocks on the door and says, I want to give you the tickets. We change clothes, put on jeans. Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah. It's six o'clock at night. The and game we're starts in West at Palm. At eight. We got down to Miami, and we were killing it. And the FSU won. Oh, it was, like, supersonically fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tell and there was this blonde girl trying to hit on Mike, and I didn't even care. <laughs> because I was eating. I, what did she, she kept say, touching What did she do? Yeah, she, that's she true. I forgot about that She was a really hot blonde girl, but Mike was so in love with me. That's true. That I he did that. not <laughs> care. That's true. So, <laughs> <laughs> so tell him, no, wait, tell him about longboards and, and, and tell him the story about when we first reconnected. Oh. So that's, a, that's a better story than the football game. So they put together this. Now, that was a good story. <laughs> <laughs> well, last year, in the beginning of May, I went down to South Florida because my nephew was graduating college, my genius nephew. And Yo, Anthony. Yeah, he's going to find the cure for cancer because he's, he's oh, a that's genius. Oh, amazing. And... We, I go to the graduation, and then my friend makes this surf club gathering because I'm in town and I want to see some friends. Yeah, I mean, high school, to we be honest with club. you, I really didn't care, but I go to a party. I love parties. Me too. So I didn't really care to see anyone from high school. But Mike and I had been Facebooking, um, and so I get there, and uh, my friend Trisha says, Mikey's supposed to come. And I'm like, well, phone him, tell him I'm here, or text, whatever. we. Had. So I think she texted him, she phoned him. I don't know what she did. And she said, Susie's here. And supposedly, my fiance was not going to come. But once he heard that I was there, he came. No, that's what happened. They invited me days earlier. And I, and I really wasn't going to go because I don't want to go hang out with these guys. I mean, yeah. from high school. Funny. And I, so, so I was like, nah, I, I, you know, now I'm not going. And then, and I lived a couple blocks away from this bar. 
and I get a text. It's like, hey, Susie Campanero's here. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Uh, and I, that I ran is up there. the essence that's awesome. of Susie that is, Campanero. That's right. That's that's you may not like that me. Is, no. You know what? But it's very ironic do. because if I would have heard she was there, <laughs> I wouldn't have went. I would have yeah. stayed home. Yeah. yeah. Well, because that's the kind of person. I, I, that's I, why I'm living only, in Chelsea. You're living in Jersey. <laughs> I can only take uh, Susie in small doses. I am the same way as you. Anywhere that Susie's going to be, and a, right. if I could be there in 10 minutes, I will. That's See, right. you know, put my sneakers on and run. Chris DePiro She's tries amazing. to act like he doesn't like me, yeah. but the guy is. He loves her. I love him, and you know, and he. I'm going to love him until he learns to love me. And you know what? <laughs> How does it? How does a girl who looks like you, like you That's were awesome. born inside of a meatball factory, yeah. <laughs> grow up in West Palm Beach? How, well, how'd because you wind here's up down the there? situation. My father, my beloved father, he loved the beach. And you know what he really hated was the cold. Mm. Oh, you know what's a great story, Chris? Daddy used to vacation in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Like they were from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Like a vacation to Italians that weren't rich was, oh, we'll go to Brooklyn for the summer. So... <laughs> Right, so Daddy did not like the cold, and when Daddy was the only one of his family who graduated college, so he became a publisher in Manhattan, and then he did the typical thing where you buy the house in Connecticut, so that means that damn train, oh. Metro North, right? So Daddy was stuck on that train in the snow, sometimes it was late, he couldn't get to his family, he was over it. So him and his friend George Dean, when I was five, created this clothing store that... Um, Burt Reynolds used to shop at in Palm Beach. It was called De Niro. George Dean, Richard Campanero, De Niro. Okay. And it was the Palm Beach look. They bought all these clothes. They were these cute little guys. Wow. You know, I guess my dad, if I was five, my dad was like 37. He was Sounds so just, awesome. I want to yeah. go there. No, it closed down, De Niro. But uh, Burt Reynolds used to shop there, whatever. So we moved to Palm Beach, Florida. And that's how it happened. And, you know, I got to be honest with you, Chris. I didn't realize until I got into Tony and Tina's wedding that I was Italian, like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't really, I had to learn from Ricky Pasqualoni, Louis Martini, Dan Grimaldi, how to be an Italian. I didn't know, when I walked in there, I was like a girl from Palm Beach still. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were supposed to wear black all the time. Mm. I didn't know you were supposed to, you know, do all these things Italians do. Now, over the years, my whole family became more and more Italian. Yeah. But growing up, it wasn't such a thing like we're Italian. We were just like, yeah. I knew I was different because I yeah. was curly haired and everyone was blonde. The, my fiance was blonde. Beach, beach, beach bum. Beach blonde. <laughs> Surfer boy. You know, there were no girls <laughs> Wait, that looked surfing. like yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is I it long, true? Long, long blonde. In high school, none of the girls looked like me, except for Yvette Colano. Come on. Yeah, that's true. But <laughs> she's all, Cuban. <laughs> yeah, they were Cuban. Yeah. No one was Italian. Yeah. I never met an Italian yeah. Yeah. until I came to New York. Well, Except for, for my me, family. For me, um, you know, I was, uh, you know, very Italian. I'm very... Right. You know, You're raised, supersonic. A supersonic. She speaks Italian. <laughs> and I always knew it. And I always knew all the rules. And they were especially drilled into me. But because I never followed the rules. Um, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> She did. I heard some really so. <laughs> wild stories about someone. No, it's no. I'm a good person. Yes. I always have love and my best interest. But, you know, I don't follow all the, you know, how the, all those rules you were talking about. Yeah. That you're supposed to do this and you're supposed to do that. Like I was supposed you know. to get married and it yeah. took till 50 for me to get engaged. Uh, God I'll bless you. You know what? I look like I this at so 50. At, she's so drop dead gorgeous. Yeah. Greg, if you could find what, the picture what, of she, Susan in a bikini, please. No. no. Really? Well, first, something else first. We're going to give the mic to Susan. I'm oh, gonna she's going to... I'm going to say... You can lower the music. Lower the music a little. We can hear it all too well. Lower, lower the music. Chris is very what, What's going on? I'm so excited. Why are you singing this song, Susan? Can I give her an introduction? Because I love Mike. At last. Oh, <laughs> I love you too, baby. How sweet. My love has come along. My lonely days are over. Because he moved in with me. <laughs> <laughs> and life is like a song. Yeah, Helter Skelter. <laughs> I'm right. so sorry. Helter Skelter. <laughs> At last. There's still time, Michael. Skies above 
all blue. Oh, my God. During the winter, he didn't see any blue skies. He was ready to kill himself. <laughs> yeah. My heart's wrapped up in Thank clover. God he didn't. I saw snow for the first time in, like, 20 years. Since I found you. Oh, boy. This is getting mushy. Uh, you know what? Love is something that you should embrace. Okay, here comes a song. So I found a dream that I can speak to. He found the nightmare. <laughs> a dream <laughs> I could call Cut his mic. my <laughs> own. But I won't change my last name. I can't be Susan Raymer. No, you don't. Susan Campanella. A don't dream look like Susan <laughs> to press my cheek to. We like to spoon. <laughs> A dream I have never known. Wow. You smile. He has a great smile. Very handsome. Oh, he is. <laughs> and the spell was cast. When he walked into Lauren Longboards and he saw me, he was all smiley. The same Michael Raymer I remember from 14. And here we are at Fort Lee Studio. <laughs> 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 Proclaiming our love on Facebook Live. Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> Facebook wow. Live. Wow! I love you, baby. You're amazing. Wow! At bravissima, last. bravissima. Fortleystudio.com. Two zero one four eight two four two four. Call for phone sex. Uh, guys, call in. <laughs> call, for, call in. Call for phone sex. Two zero one four eight two four two four four. Wow! 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 You are a goddess. Yeah, you are. That a was goddess. goddess. That was beautiful. Oh, but please, so Chris. Beautiful. Do I get to wear my tiara now? You are, yes. You're definitely that, so multi talented. Yes, that's that the amazing. queen. Oh God. <laughs> What's up with, you know, calling you girls queens and goddesses and, she you know, is. so much oh, pressure for guys. One. This is the one. It's all, it's too much pressure for well, guys to for make him. like a Look princess life. He's trying to fit it for her because that is his oh, yeah, Wait till they get married. He'll change. Grumpy. He's so grumpy. What do you do? Don't break so my racist. headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional. Oh. He's a oh, professional. You're doing great. Oh, wow. how sweet. Oh, my God. oh that's so wonderful. I'm bleeding. I am so moved. That right, was so it. beautiful. How do I look? Beautiful. beautiful, amazing, baby. Beautiful. Oh, here oh, we got a phone call. Oh, who could it be? My sister? <laughs> it's probably, yeah, it probably is. I don't know. Either that oh, or, let's or take it's... this call. Right. This is or great. This it's is your exciting. brother. It's your sister, your brother. Watch. Hi, thanks for uh, calling Fort Lee Studios. Hi. Hey. Mike Five. Who is this? this is Chris. Who's calling? Hey, Hello. I'm watching you on Facebook. What the hell are you guys doing? No, this is Roger. You remember me? Oh, my God. Yeah, Roger. Of course we remember Did Roger. Did you guys date? Roger. No, Roger, the bartender. <laughs> Roger? Oh, my God. What are you doing? Watching you guys on can Facebook. You he Roger, can you hear her? Because uh, uh, all of Fort Lee can. I, I can. Uh, <laughs> all, all, the, all, all the sound is messed up. I'm trying to, I was trying to listen to your, pod, your, your uh, Facebook Live thing here, and uh, the sound's all messed up. I don't think anybody can hear it. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Yeah. Wait a second. What I was listening earth? to on my phone. Anyway, what's up, Roger? <laughs> hey, Roger. Hey, Besides that, Roger, how are you? I'll give you guys a little phone sex and. Uh, oh, see, okay. you heard that. Totally from uh, Saint Petersburg, Florida. Oh, oh, we love Florida. Oh, we got to get down there yeah, visit Roger. He must be. Let me Saint tell you. Saint a rough area, though. It depends Saint on where Saint Petersburg is, is it rough there? What he's got going on there? That's where the Tampa Bay Rays play. Ooh. <laughs> Is that where the Tampa Bay Rays play, Roger? Yeah, they play around here somewhere. I'm not a big baseball guy. You know that. I grew up in Italy playing soccer, so. Oh, well, yes, of course. Well, yeah, tell us a little bit about that, Roger. Well, you, you, you had to be a goalie, no? You're tall. You can oh, cover that whole thing. Really? No, nope, I was the uh, tall guy scoring goals. Oh. But well, uh, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find Kevin Alexander down in... Uh, down in uh, Fort Lauderdale, bring him over uh, and meet up with him down in Fort Myers hopefully soon. He's in Wilton wow. Manor. Hey, Kevin. Roger's Hi, Kevin. looking for you, dude. So, Roger, how many years ago was that that we used to go 
to the bar and chill with you. Those were fun. Yeah, days, Roger, tell right? us a Susie Campanero story. Do you have any stories about oh, me? Oh, I'm sure everybody does. Oh my God, you oh. got the dirty ones. No, Roger. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to hear. <laughs> Roger, I'm finally getting I'm married. Don't fence. screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> still on the fence here. Let's see. Let's, let's what? Yeah. Oh yeah, we had we had a blast with you too, Roger. You used to get us nice. <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, my God. What? what about this story? Oh, my. I can't God. say it on the air. I can't. Really? Can no, you I can't. Just twist it a little. Come on. What about when Pete Mastronardi's uh, cousin No came. last names, oh, please. What? What? You're going to bring up... Go ahead. When Pete's cousin <laughs> okay. came from from uh, Italy and shenanigans were going on in the bathroom at... <laughs> <laughs> Not with me, with other members. Do you know about the shenanigans, Roger? <laughs> All right, Roger, why don't you tell, uh, tell us about uh, pouring water on my face when I get knocked out? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Roger. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> what, what was his name that the uh, kid played Johnny? What, uh, Michael Perry. We were just talking to him. Michael Perry. My, you know, my, Michael Perry the, would, would uh, piss you off. <laughs> you'd run around a bar after him. Finally, you know, after you had John for a while, and then uh, he'd hide behind a corner and, and whack you over the head with one of them trays. <laughs> <laughs> Every damn show, you know, you, you know, there's big old Chris, uh, Chris Piero laying on the floor, acting like he's knocked out. So I finally decided what it is. I jumped over the bar with a big old pitcher of water and I dumped it in your face, trying to, trying to wake you up. That was the best. <laughs> so you know, that's you, Roger. You. We had Richie Quigley and we had you. And I was in and out of that show. Now it's been like 26 yeah. years. When the bartender is so amazing, like how you were and was part of the show, is what makes that show. You were amazing. Yes. No, you, you, you guys were amazing. You know, we did that show. God, when did you guys start that? I, that until I left in 2000 uh, 98. Well, we years. started in 98. 98, yeah. Yeah. Susan muscled out uh, the, the girl who was supposed to play Tina. Once no. she found out. That's not how it went down. How'd it go down? Oh, I muscled her out for Dominica. No. From when we moved uptown to downtown. They asked me to do it because I versa. had the right energy. I know. It, it's just, I just, just like twisting it you that sure way. You sure do. Yeah. yeah. I had the right energy. You oh. sure do. Well, you know, let me tell you something. My first time playing Tina, I was about 25 years old, and I was so strung out. No, 20, I was 24 years old. I was absolutely, I didn't have a cell phone. I didn't know how you're supposed to call in to find out if you were the understudy. I was a mess, and I was supposed to marry Ricky Pasqualoni. I, I, I was shaking. I, I didn't even know. I was, like, late. I had been drinking all night, doing cocaine. I mean, I was, and there I show up to play Tina. The whole cast hated me. I love you. Now, years later, I was the beloved Tina for my Chris DePiro's company. Yeah. I was a good little girl. I saw a lot of Tina's in that show. Nobody, nobody, nobody was better than Susie Campanella. Ah. She was, she's That's definitely so tough to beat. sweet. She was she was something else. Oh my we god! Had a good Remember time all the food that we had cooked by Chef Ray. Remember that all the food Chef yeah, Ray yeah, would cook yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The special stuff. Mikey, the chicken. we had this shit food. Oh, sorry, this crappy food every <laughs> night. But I would go into the kitchen and I would say to Ray, "Can you make us something a little special?" He would come out with meatballs or this. And, I mean, we would have all this food, and yeah. Chris DePiro would be eating. <laughs> oh, my God. Hilarious. He still does that. Hilarious. Uh, it's all character work. Characterization. Character work. Yeah. Meatballs. Nothing changes. So, Roger, That's thank you so much, buddy, for calling in, It's so in, good man. to hear from you, Roger. For calling. I'm glad love you're in you my too. homeland. Come down and visit. I would love to, man. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Too? You ever come, come up too? here, Roger? Uh, you know, not often enough. Uh-huh. Where are you working? Yeah, plug where you're working, Roger. I'm, 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 uh, I'm doing my own business down here. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, look up he's Roger's own business. Whole, yeah. <laughs> 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 he, could, he may not want to look that up if he's in Florida. There's all kinds of things going on down there. Trust my, me, I know. <laughs> my fiance should know. I can't talk about it. FBI might be right. Exactly. <laughs> I know. See? Listen, this is Bortley Studios. It's already I'm, shifting. I think I know Roger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roger. Night, guys. I love love you. you. Love Miss you. Love, love you. Love, love, Sending you. love. 
Yeah. That was so yeah. cool. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Caller. I know how much. Guys, call in. 201-482-4244. For we need more Florida calls. I just want to know that. if people were able to hear Susan's song. So is there any way that, guys, like, let us know if that was audible? Because he said we weren't Why audible. would you want to know that? Because I want. Oh, I, I see, want, this is the this is, and you know, this is where our relationship <laughs> no, breaks down. No, no, the, <laughs> no, see, this is where. Just the show comes to a screeching halt. No, when this you start is where about the relationship that we have needs to end because you are a bad friend. <laughs> 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 see, I want to make sure everybody heard you that, know, and if I they just, didn't, she, I just want you to know that oh, she, wants I have it on my phone. she just wants to be heard. Chris. This, this is yeah. a, this is an Trust issue. Me, I'm going to listen. This She's is an guest. issue that she we just have. Wants to be heard. For years, <laughs> you have verbally <laughs> abused me. Wow. I put oh up with God. it. Wow. And you have shunned me as a wow. human. Welcome to my world, buddy. You. <laughs> No, he did the same to me. <laughs> I shunned you. Uh, Wait, uh, your your what? brother wrote in. Yeah, oh, my your, brother. Your brother. Tell him to call. Tell him to call. Tell him to call. Uh, tell him to call. call. Him no, call tell him. Give yeah. him yeah. He's the coolest. I want my brother to call. He's Text my brother. He's the coolest dude ever. 20 he's, he's listening. I have, he I he said you're very funny. Uh, yeah. That's not what he said. God. I want my brother to call. So you're funny. So if Can anybody doesn't in? know, probably a lot of people don't know, but uh, me and Susan met at Tony and Tina's wedding. Yes. And uh, yeah, see, yeah, it sounds like the audio is working. <laughs> it's, it's on it, delay. It's got a delay. Good. It's good. Okay. Good. Good. Are you happy? You happy? Yes. I just yeah. wanted everybody to hear. Yeah, have your friends call. Put Susan's the number. Angelic yeah, I'm, I'm voice. All right. So we met. Uh, we met, and uh, the show was uh, downtown. And I remember you coming in and doing a special uh, something for the Easter bonnet. Yes. You came in. You weren't in the show. Oh, yeah. But you came in to do the Easter bonnet, right? Or something like that? Oh, yeah. A yeah. couple times with Maria yeah. Gentili because right. she was directing. She's my butt. Right. Oh, Which on. one do you remember and us doing? The one where I was the big... Oh, what was the one when when we did that we were all pregnant? No. <laughs> no. The one we did with Chuck when he directed, but I was... Yeah, him. kickball chain. I just remember that was one of the dance steps. You got to kick the ball, kick ball kick change. Kick ball change, kick, kick ball, ball change. change. And kick I always thought he said You're kick the dancer. kick ball chain. I thought he was kick saying because of the ball and chain. So I thought it was like pretend you have a ball and chain on your foot and you kick it out and the ball goes and. You know what, Chris? Anyway, this I think is we just lost 10 views. Yeah. This is embarrassing. Yeah. You don't know what kickball chain is. Why? I, I'm a, a you know. Kickball chain. I'm a, a comedic actor from New Jersey. Why, yeah. why would I, I know what a kickball chain Yes, you do. <laughs> I think you're boring. <laughs> Touche, that's funny. No, I'm going to tell you something she, about she Chris Tapiro. Chris Tapiro <laughs> she is, did, thank she you, thank you. <laughs> Chris Tapiro is the worst best friend you could ever have. Because you know what? You, he's the, your best friend because he's generous. He shows up for you. Yeah. He loves yes. deeply. But yes. on the other side, he's the grumpiest, <laughs> most miserable person. Oh, my God. Joyless. It's I don't just, see you're, you're it. You're killing his love it. life, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, definitely, girls. My mom loves me. <laughs> he's a catch. Girls. <laughs> and Look, I, my mom right never now. says this stuff about I'm going to tell you something, girls. Chris is a catch. Yes. Because A. You can find me on Tinder. Yeah. yeah he that's is right. a good guy. Tinder Bumble POM. <laughs> <laughs> no, the one thing, oh if God. you like to eat, uh -huh. Chris is your guy, too. Yeah. He's never, you could ne it's never too late to have a meal with Chris DePiro. Never too late. Yeah. No, I'm not Me? hungry, but I'll eat. Yeah. 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 Why not? Me too. Always. And generous. Isn't that part of being. Generous, a generous, generous. And good looking for. A, Exactly. Again. <laughs> what? You're on uh, mic five. You got to raise mic five. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Greggy. Put the camera to you. Bring it up. So, Silvana, talking about being in love, you're engaged. Yeah. How's that going? Oh, congratulations. It's going great. It's going great. Thank you. Yeah. But you were just uh, saying your thing with Chris. Well... I love my Chris. Why, why go back to that? Why go back? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what we should talk about? What? Susie just got cast in a TV show. I did. <gasps> yes, Come on. Did. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So, speaking of Tony and Tina's wedding, the love never ends. I was partners. Well, I played Donna Marsala with uh, Louis Martini, who is such a talented, awesome dude. Yes, he is. And um, Louis Martini... Uh, 
sent me an email and said that he is uh, putting my name in for a new media project called Sober. And um, actually, I'm going to tell this story to all those actors because I teach acting at the Susan Batson Studio. It's 300 West 43rd Street every Tuesday from 1 to 4. I have my own improv class. Wow. And I'm always telling my students or anyone I work with that you have to be fearless. So I heard this speaker, this guy named Barry, who's an A&R guy. He, he managed lots of big name bands. And um, he said, you got to ask for what you want. So I got the script like two weeks prior to the audition. And I, I emailed the, the woman who sent it to me. And I said, you know what? I got to see my mother. My father passed. We got to dedicate this bell for my father. My beloved father passed. And his name was Bell Ringer. And the church we bought a bell for my dad, That's like a beautiful. sanctus bell. It was gorgeous. So I couldn't miss it. And I said, listen, I'd love to meet you all, but i got to do this thing first. So I'm reading the script over and over and over again. And they wanted me to play the 29-year-old lesbian. And I know that I have a young appearance and Botox helps, but... <laughs> 29, I am not. So I was reading this other... Or a lesbian. Other, so I was reading this other... Yeah, or a lesbian. I was reading this other character, Gina, who is a reoccurring role, and she's at a bar, and she's talking about that her husband died while he was doing her from behind. And I got to wow. tell you, it was such a funny little scene, and I knew it was me, because it made me feel like it was my Donna Marsala grown up. Something <laughs> she was, you know? So I went into this audition, and I say this for all those actors out there. I just told them straight up. I said, you know what? I really think I'm this character, not this character. So if you don't mind, I'd, l I'd really like to be seen for that. I nailed it. One take. I got the part. Wow. So you got to ask for what you, you know, because I could have just been like, you know, scared and read the, yeah. you know, 29 year old lesbian and not yeah. gotten it yeah. because that's not really me. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I asked for what I wanted and I got it. But but other than that, Susan, you are just out of this world. Well, a my super, super, well, super talent. So it takes and one to know what. I mean, no, but I've had the pleasure of seeing Susan is like a, a, a cabaret yeah, Beauty Lavinia genius. is going to be in a movie also this summer. The character that I created uh, 17 years ago, Lavinia Draper, is in the new movie Barrio Boy. Mm. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to be in that movie. It's an indie film um, by I, um, I Ain't Playing Films, casting director Liz Ortiz Magus, who's amazing. Um, and it's called Barrio Boy, and I play a HIV... Um, counselor, and I play Lavinia Draper. So I'm dual cast. Wow. You can play anything. Yeah, so I'm psyched about that. I also She's shot also directing Wow, other cabarets. I oh, yeah. She's doing so much, believe me. I Jen Mara is having a show a on June 3rd at the Duplex, and my other client, Craig Winberry, is having his show June uh, 14th. It's a Wednesday night wow. at the Duplex. That's great. You get all these people getting an experience to yeah, go up yeah, there. Yeah. So like, I believe in that. I believe that if you, like, if you, you need to put your, I told my students today, because I teach every Tuesday. Oh, and then every last Tuesday of the month from 3 to 5, my class is open. So it's free. You can mm -hmm. come and improvise in my class. But I told my students today that you cannot quit. You have to make your own your own stuff, just like Chris DePiro, my dear friend, made an amazing movie. Uh, Miami, Miami or bust, or bust, a Hoboken bet, a Hoboken bet, and he put all of us in it, and it was killer. It was rocking. It was in film yes. festivals, <laughs> yeah. And he made and look like this. Got you made your show. own way. Yeah, got a Facebook. You yeah. got to put yourself out there, like my my fiance here is putting himself wow. out there all the time. You not to be like shameless and obnoxious, but to just make your work because I wrote a musical with Lynn Portis who's a genius yes, a amuseapp.com oh, wow, yes. E-M-U-S-I go on the app store and download that yeah. free app free app you can send musical texts to your friends yeah. through Facebook, Twitter, and and uh, it's really really cool. And regular it's so texting. cool. You could be having like the worst day, and you get one of those uh, yeah. songs. Chris and is probably going to play Turns one. it around. Lynn Portis wrote such beautiful music for my character Lavinia Draper. I I could sing. A, she she wrote this song, uh, uh, Lavinia. The, I mean, she wrote fifteen songs for me, but I have a beautiful song for my character, and so. 
hopefully we're one day going to be off Broadway. That would be Killing amazing. Well, I, I wish mean, you all the it's blessings. It's one step away. That's all it is. It's yes. one step away from... Two right. doors down. That's They're it. laughing and drinking and having a party. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> one, more, one more verse or two or three. Look, at look at the crown look at the crown and the bandana that's it she deserves oh, that a, look, at it, look at Greg look at Greg She's putting the queen up the, queen. the poster <laughs> so that? working with Susan yes. on Miami of Boston was such a pleasure <laughs> oh no just yeah she was, no you, you know Susan you were very uh, you were awesome it was one of my favorite it's one of my favorite scenes it, it came out really well oh my god I gotta show you Mike know. Mike hasn't seen it yet first of all nobody I'm gonna find the scene I'll yeah find nobody is like Alyssa Trapelli she and I this is Chris said you guys just talk and we just started talking ridiculousness yeah. and it was hilarious yeah, yeah, right. yes, And then yes, I wore these absolutely. amazing pants that are like fake scenes. jeans. And I said, Chris, let me knock down some cups. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> so that I could show my G-string. Yeah, that was, the, that was the, my, one of my favorite was parts in the entire movie. It was fantastic. Yeah, Savannah's big mouth made it in that movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, she, she has a full face frontal. She was full the last. Face frontal. No, sh Chris <laughs> shoots. <laughs> Chris shoots full face, like. Chris is an amazing. <laughs> he showed, if She's so face. nice to you. After you're so I know. I'm, I'm so I sorry. Well, I think it's know. funny when people call me amazing. <laughs> Amazingly you. retarded. Yeah, oh, oh you're not supposed to say that. That word is so 1990. Right. Come on. Anyway, go ahead. What were you talking about? Amazing. Oh, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh. Oh, you. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens a lot. <laughs> oh, I have found out that I have adult onset ADD. Oh, I have got it. You got diagnosed? I, I diagnosed myself. Yeah. <laughs> ever, I think we all have. <laughs> ever since I got I in this room. I think we all have. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't? No. You got the worst case. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ever since. I love it. Your bolty is with these labs. <laughs> ever I since I got into this, uh, this re relationship, this serious relationship, I have noticed that I cannot stay on topic. <laughs> I, I lose it. I lose my thought she process. So wow. Why do you think it's since the relationship, dude? I'm really, in the last forty years, I've well, known you. Because I pointed it out. Yeah, that, that's I mean, what happened. She's wild. We have known each other more than four years, DePiro. Who? You and me. Yeah, forty. I said forty. Oh. It seems like forty. No, it hasn't been no, really. All right, so when I, mean, I was seventeen, business, really. I was a very good year. Yeah, I yeah. casted all you girls in my movie. You think I direct a movie and write it, and I, I, I can get these. Beautiful, you know, loose girls that I can have fun with, and I, I invite all you broads in. I can't uh, even touch Excuse it. me, yeah. did I not get you free space to audition all those fun that loose girls? That was amazing. Girls? Yeah. Did I not at the you Duplex did. Piano Bar Cabaret? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, not one of them came through. <laughs> That's a lie. The whole scene. The scene was great. I mean, they didn't come through. Put. <laughs> he's he's, he's, he's well, saying about them putting me. out. Well, yeah. here's Thank the you. thing, Chris. <laughs> yes. You need to grow some charm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. usually have this thing over here that I hit him with, but it's gone. I can't find it. Hit him with it. this. <laughs> hit him with this. <laughs> yeah, hit him with some sunshine. Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, sunshine. that was a great scene. It, the, the improv was, uh, we asked him if they, uh, if we can put him in a headlock. Yeah. And all these beautiful blonde girls said, yeah, yeah. And we got him in a headlock, <laughs> and we held him in a headlock. And then... Uh, I, we asked him a couple other things, and there were so many good ones, and we took five or six of them. And the, what happens is they come to Hoboken from Manhattan. They live in Manhattan. They come to Hoboken to hang out, and there's Hoboken girls hanging out at the bar. It's so funny. So the blonde girls <laughs> start looking at all the Hoboken girls saying, oh, look, 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 the mob wives are here. Oh, and they yeah. overhear them, and like, we heard what you said. You know, the mob and Alyssa wives flips the table. Yeah. That was so Epic. Yeah. That was just so amazing. She did that tremendous. That was the what, another she, one of a great. Well, scene. that's what we. Every that was, was our our scene. company of Tony and Tina were the thrill, throwers. We threw yeah. a lot of stuff, throwing chairs. Throwing, yeah, yeah. We like to throw things. Yeah, I like to throw things too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. 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 But, Savannah uh, plays the sexy mother of the bride. <laughs> that's right. When the the he, show got revamped. By the the uh, super uh, talented, multi talented Tony Laurie, director. Oh, multi, yes. so multi. Talented, multi uh, also multi, sang multi, a song. Uh, Brilliant. In uh, Miami, a bus. So maybe we could show that. Yes. But uh, let right. me find that. Uh, and Silvana was cast 
unbeknownst to me, in Tony and Tina's wedding. Mm-hmm. You didn't know? Uh, not at the moment she was cast, no. I was I was told, we cast your friend Silvana. I was like, oh. It was, it was, it was our beautiful friend, Denise. The that, first uh, time, yeah, Denise Fennell. Denise big Fennell. Talent. She helped big, big time talent. getting... Uh, she, she did there. it. She, she brought just, you in. Uh, exactly. Right. She, she she had to uh, find out who she wanted to be her sister. And she, she was very worried run. about that. And for the run, yeah. yeah. And and she there was a lot of other people up for the part. But not you. And not uh, anyone like and you. And she just she just said her. I want her to. Uh, well, you know, I was it. in the audition room a lot for that mm. production, and let me tell you, you know. When someone's just gonna get it, but when, you know, I had the greatest time of my life, and I, I'm so grateful. I, hi, Denise, love you, Denise, mm. because I got to uh, walk with her and be with her as as her sister yeah. throughout this amazing run that we had. And we all have sisters. Yes, that's yes. the one thing about Tony Teen's wedding. We have sisters, so we know how to fall right into it. Yeah, sister. But it was love. just a, a wonderful feeling and experience that I'll never forget. For my entire life. And with you, too. Oh, we had fun. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw you. Chris DePiro asks me to do a show called Dina's Divorce Party. And we go to yes. this really cool room with these white banquets, remember? Uh, mm-hmm. And you had me singing mm-hmm. uh, Lady Gaga, mm-hmm. you know. Wow. I'm you on the edge just, yes. of glory. Oh, my uh, God. Right? I and fell in love. By the way, she sang it on top of a chair in a restaurant with a leopard, leopard dress, dress yeah. that hugs her oh so gorgeously, flawless, perfect body. Wow. Oh, there really? you go. Yes. yes. It's so it's Savannah is doing gorgeous. some girly love. <laughs> she does she does a lot of her acts like in, in bikinis, and I'm just like every time I'm floored by her beauty and her talent and everything else. Bikram yoga. So, yeah, sweat I it fell out. In love that sweat moment. it out at Bikram Yoga. <laughs> sweat it out. Please. Savannah for the first the three months she thought you hated her. No, I used what? to have to drive it. Yeah, well, yeah. You're, you're going Back. I hated her for so. I'm going backwards. back. It's my f- this is show. Backwards. When yes. did I hate her? Dina's divorce diner with the leopard dress. Oh, so you were on the chair and you were singing the song. I was still on. I was coming up to that. When did Silvana think I hated her? When she you came into Tony and Tina's wedding, she she was a little worried just, that there's no negativity. She Let's thought you positive. You, so she wanted you right to be along. more friendly to her. <laughs> well, you know how I am. It takes me a while. That's what I told her. I just am so not touchy feely like that. Yeah, but I she have expects to, I don't want to love. waste. No, here's the truth about me. I don't want to waste you don't all that penis. affection yes, and some. I don't want to waste all the love and affection yeah. that I have to give mm. to people that I'm not going to be friends with. So once I know that I'm really going to be your friend, yeah. then. I give all the love, yeah. right? <sighs> but I loved you at, like, the first time I met you in the leopard dress and you oh, were on the chair. God, That's what I was trying to get you. at. This was That's like... That's said. Oh. This is well, like that a few was years just, later. That was just you being slightly <laughs> turned on by my leopard. Of course. How could you not? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you were just amazing. And let me tell you, you rocked as Loretta. I mean, it was oh, just awesome. That's my awesome. favorite part. Everything. Yeah. And I yeah. played all of them except for Grandma and the Nun. Mikey, they won't let me play the Nun. Oh, you never played the Nun? <laughs> Why no. not? <laughs> I, I think because I'm not Catholic. You know I'm Episcopalian. <laughs> I don't know anything about nuns. You think that's the reason? Yeah, because I... I, would, I don't think that's the reason. I think that's the reason. You do? I think all the girls that played <laughs> sister were Catholic. I don't know anything about the Catholic religion. I, I am, I am, that's one thing. I thank you, Dad. <laughs> up there in heaven that you made me Episcopalian because I don't have any of that Catholic stuff. I don't know anything about it. You don't know the seven sacraments. I don't know what that is. What is it? <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> You're Greek Orthodox. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about anything. But, right. but you have to put five up. Well, I think yours is five or six. Well, I understand, Susan, and I grew up in the yeah. Catholic religion, no. and I respect, I have respect for all religions, but to me, um, there's only one, and, and it's more like of a spiritual, it's all love. It's all about love. Oh, so, you know, I, I, I asked my just dad. talking crap about the Lutherans 20 minutes ago. Oh, my me. God. Who, me? Oh, God. I, don't, I, I was don't talking to my dad, God. right? And I said, Dad, what do you do when someone asks you what God is? What do you do, Dad? What do you say? I don't know how to argue it. And my father said, just say God is love. 
Yes. That's, oh, that's it. So beautiful. That's so beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Nobody's calling in. 201 482 4244. Call in for phone sex. Yeah, Come on. Save Would me. you sing another song? Let's do a little Can clip you, first. You want oh, do a clip. Do a oh, clip. We're doing, yeah, we're doing a clip from well, the movie, right? Oh, from the movie. Like a trailer or something, maybe? <sighs> oh, yes. Oh, you'll see me at the end. The music by Yo, all this music. There's Tony Patellas. Yeah, he's amazing. Wendy's starting for the money. Whoever wins the bet. You got to watch. It's 50 grand. Oh. <laughs> Scotty. Uh, <laughs> south of the border. Mikey, I'm that's who win. we were on the phone with, Alyssa. Why would you say such a thing? What if I don't win? Of course I'm going to win. We're getting married in two weeks. Denise and weeks. Scotty. What if something happens to you? Mickey, this is $25,000 I can win here. This is a down payment house in Port Pleasant. Here he is. Uh, Conchetta and, and Patrick. 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 Gorgeous. Dead. First I don't mean trouble, dead. I mean dead, I mean dead. dead. Joe, look at me. She's playing you know Tina oh, in, yes. Chicago. in Chicago I right now. I opened that show. Susan, oh, that's it. There's one of the girls. <laughs> Pixel. Oh, Susanna oh, Keller. Look at these blondes. Justine, Full Nelson. Headlock. What the greatest improv line is that one? Michael Gargani. I heard this guy's not even a saint anymore. Susan Barron. She was whacking me. There she is. Oh, there we go. That's me. That's me. That was me. Anybody ever kick you in your oh, face with their boobs? This is the best what a scene. scene. Holy Did cow. anybody ever try to whip your eyeball out with their fingers? Did anybody ever punch you in your nose? Hey, Caesar. Uh, <laughs> you jerk it off? Valentino. Fuck you. <laughs> Are you going to win this bet? Oh, uh, the great oh, Chachi. Chachi. I was in. Cha Cha we were in Don Justice. Justice. Yeah, Don Justice. That was remember? fun. Yeah. That's good enough for me, Lenny. Passed away, Chacha. No. Yeah, yeah. Your father proud. That's sad. Yeah. The great Amanda Jensik. Yes. Beautiful girl. Amanda. Sweetheart. So beautiful. That's on a roof of my... Oh, I love him. I'm going to marry her in May. This is my favorite scene. May, May, huh? May that day never come. I'm going to you in jerk offs. <laughs> oh, okay. oh. That's full face frontal how'd right she, there. How'd she get in it? He said the mob will have to hear? I just wanted to see Who'd you blow to get in there? But obviously you don't. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. And whatever to your friend Snooky too. <laughs> <laughs> Snooky? Uh, oh, epic, epic. You got a problem with this? Whoa. <laughs> Come on! Whoa. <laughs> That's the greatest improv line right there. Woo! Um, yeah. That's Michael my Perry. friend Chris DePiro. Oh, thank you, everybody. That was yeah. great. Wow. It's just, just awesome. What that an experience awesome. that was. But somehow Fantastic. Mammy Bus gets poured up in every show. <laughs> well, you know, you got to do it. Hey, listen, Greg, could, do you think you could pull up Lavinia Japer's Facebook page so they could see what yeah, Lavinia yeah. Japer looks like? Well, so I'll be that. out in um, Fire us. Island Wednesdays. Oh. How many years have you been going out there the this whole summer? This will be summer. my eighth year. Wow. Yeah, I go out on Wednesdays, and then I'm in this new show called A Chorus Line, uh -huh. which is a parody, about, uh, a parody of A Chorus Line, and I play Morales. Wow. Oh. I am not too sure. And I got nothing. She has a box cutter. And I mean that... nothing. No, not... I say, hello, my name wow. is Diana Morales. Wow. And I'm Puerto Rican. Oh, yeah. my God. Where, <laughs> where, <laughs> how, <laughs> when, where can we see that? I have to come, I have to see that. You guys have to come out to Fire Island. Uh, yes. I was doing it at the, um, I was doing it at uh, the Lori Beachman Theater. We had, how many oh. performances did I wow. do? Four? Two, two or four. Four, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's really fun. It's uh Where is that theater? It's on forty second street. Okay. At forty second and ninth. So the Lori Beachman, I told you about it, but we're gonna do it now on Fire Island and then it's it's really fun. I work with Alan Patty, who are the writers, and this great uh, drag queen busted, who's awesome. Michael, Michael Busted Fitzgerald. He's and, hilarious. um Blackio, Edward, all my dear friends. 
and Sam and Paul and me. And I play Morales. Wow. And wow. so where can everyone like uh, find out about the dates and times of your well, events? Well, usually everything be? that I do is yeah, on the Lavinia Draper Facebook mm-hmm. page. There's or, something called the World Wide Web. So yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, just... Or my like Facebook a, page. Yes. <laughs> if she... Sorry. Or Instagram. Don't forget to look at Mike's Instagram, RaymerPhoto13. R-A-M-E-R, Michael Raymer. Yes. Fantastic take, photos. Amazing, his, his, amazing uh, f- photographs. Great his moments is in time of New Raymer York City. Raymer Photo 13. There we go. Yeah, oh, what's Everything this? Is, yeah, what's Thank that photo much, of him? Michael, what's that? That's a great photograph. Is that on uh, the East wow. Village somewhere? That's Susie. Oh, Actually, that's me. It's, it's, we, uh, yeah. I was doing a shoot for a, a Tony Award-nominated uh, actor. And so we, went out, we just walked down Ninth Avenue one day and um, was looking for locations because uh-huh. he wanted to do like a gritty thing, um, theme. So he started shooting and me. So I started shooting her. And then one thing led to another. She took her shirt off, and, and you know oh, how yeah, I wow. you know. yeah. Listen, no, but I have these I wear, amazing. I, she loves. I love to take my clothes yeah. off. I, know. I like she taking does. my clothes off. Every well, show. He says Listen. that about you behind your back. You know. <laughs> Listen, I'll see you right to her face. Listen, we grew up in Palm Beach, Florida. We, we don't wear clothes. clothes. Yeah. Ah! We don't wear clothes. I didn't grow up wearing any clothes. It's not normal. No, it, it's normal because in Palm Beach. It's normal. Let me tell Listen, you something. We never wore clothes. <laughs> and like, you're not even turned on by each other because you're just so used to seeing people in bikinis. Right, and right. That's you're normal. Not, it's normal. That's what it's is not normal. like. Whatever. I mean, really. Well, everybody's fit there too, though. No, so. I don't think so. I think that in New York, it's well, far more judgmental than in Florida. <laughs> mm. Oh, all right. Oh, the surfer boys. <laughs> all right, big time. Go back home. Uh, like, what like? <laughs> Oh, my God. How do you put up with that, Mike? Because oh, I, I love her. Look at her. She she's, is, she's beautiful. And she's amazing and talented. Yes. She yes. is. I, yes. I always said she is, to me, the, the, the most, most multi-talented person I've ever met. I would have to agree so, with She can walk she into is. a room and just start oh entertaining people. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, you know. she can. And, and there's a thin does. line between entertainment and annoying. And she's though. also a very beautiful person. <laughs> <laughs> with a beautiful heart. I, I annoy, yeah, annoying people is really fun, right? <laughs> yeah. No, here's oh the thing. God. Oh, I have a great story. Especially so we're Chris. doing a Tony and Tina's wedding gig, and yes. Alec Baldwin is there. Yes. And I'm wearing the Long damn Island. leopard dress. Speaking of the wow. leopard dress, I will tell you, the look on his face when he got a load of me was stay the hell away from me. And I knew better. I didn't go near his table. Mm-hmm. I didn't talk to him. I didn't talk to his people. No. I just talked to everybody else. Yeah. His look, when he saw me, it was like, get away from me. Mm. So I know We were given annoying. instructions, I think, yeah. before the show. Right? Don't mess with Alec. <laughs> no, some people did, though. Yeah. He was, but he wasn't open to my speed. No. <laughs> Oh well, he God. missed out. He missed out. <laughs> I think he's doing well. I think so, too. He's killing it with Trump. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I'm also teaching improv for kids at, at Janine Molinari School. And this kid. Dance ten, Molinari. Yeah, Dance Molinari. This kid, 10 years old, was doing Trump. Amazing. Wow. Had that dude down. <laughs> <laughs> The kids were asking, like, you know, questions, like, as news anchor uh-huh, people. Uh-huh. It was hilarious. Oh, that's good. He's like, I'm going to build a wall. <laughs> he did the whole thing. It was amazing. <laughs> kids are great. Kids are great. Yes, they uh, are. I'm sure they'd all love you, too, Susan. Oh. Like, no, they do. They're you, forced to love her, but yeah. Yeah, still. The, these kids uh, react to her. You should see this show. The class that she does. Well, she get, literally. They get rashes? No. Yeah. They don't no. have that I kind have of reaction. I have to have bug spray. No, these kids, these kids literally are screaming and yelling and doing anything at all that she says. They just, they just do it. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's truly amazing. Her adults, sometimes she has to like, you know, dig, dig, dig. These kids, right. she just has some way with kids. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the adults I teach see, right? sometimes just don't speak beautiful. English. Right. At the Susan Betts well, studio, true, true. it's like European and, and uh, people who don't speak any English. But I mean, also, they're very talented, you mm-hmm. know, but... You know, you got to do what you got to do. So my and cousin, I'm sure you inspire them greatly, greatly, because you are an inspiration to everyone that knows One of you. the craziest jobs, but thank you, one of the craziest jobs I ever had was for Road Recovery. I work for this company called Road Recovery. You guys, it's the greatest organization. If you want to donate money to Road Recovery, you could go and go on their website um, look up what they do, roadrecovery.org, or go and get on the iTunes. They have songs. And I'm recording with them and whatever, whatever. But I used to go to group homes and teach dance. Wow. I'd have 30 kids hip-hopping. And I would have to bring a whistle. 
<laughs> because I didn't know how to reel them in. 30 kids in an auditorium wow. who were living in a group And group you home. did it with a whistle. I did it with a whistle. And then you were like, I can, I can do a lot yeah, with a whistle. A lot with a whistle. <laughs> Chris, you should try that with your you class. put the link up school. there if you want to see it. Yeah, I'll you check did? it out. Sure, yeah. You put the road recovery link? I, I love I it. Mean, that's, that's my amazing. organization. That's so wonderful. Guys, go on that link. There it's dedicated things. to helping young people battle addiction yeah. and other adversities so by harass, uh, harassing the influence of, and it, it just stops, dot, dot, dot. So the only the other organization that I Janine and I uh, take care of every Christmas is the Holy Apostle Soup Kitchen, which my friend, my worst best friend ever, Chris DePiro, comes every year. <laughs> <laughs> comes what every year. That buys show. a hat yeah. that he never wears. Show. Buys a hat, show. buys a t-shirt, yeah. he'll buy anything. I'll be like, I'll be raffling off his Lavinia. Who would like to buy this demo t-shirt? I would. Is that Chris? Yeah. It, yes. But yeah. you know what? It comes out to less talking by her if I buy oh, it quickly. Yeah. She don't have to keep on. Ho, 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 ho. No. If I say, yeah, I'll take it, then she stops talking. She's happy. Now, that's another. Yeah, I'm going to skip over that. That's another great organization to give to is the Holy Apostles Soup Kitchen. It's the largest soup yeah. kitchen in New York City. Mm. It's amazing. They serve a thousand people a day in that little church and mm. so that's really wonderful what a wonderful how course. many years have you been doing that susan we've been doing that like 17 years unbelievable god bless you yeah. god raising bless you hundreds all. hundreds of dollars yeah. one night <laughs> right what are you laughing at? <laughs> hundreds of dollars <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and one night but thousands uh, lord no what was the biggest do you know what the, the biggest record was probably was like 1200 oh okay go cool. but you know we're a dinky thing we were charging five dollars janine and i don't want to like overcharge we i mean and it's such an amazing oh show filled with amazing oh. talent and, and they have a bake sale and the, the oh, yeah, greatest bake. bake goods that you can ever eat and, and there's so much love in the room oh yeah and there's so much that love because you're great people two years ago we killed it with all of you guys up in the balcony uh -huh. that was great Silvana laughing oh my, oh god. my god we did not stop laughing and that year, was crazy and this year too where you Patty and Patty performed but <laughs> this year they didn't oh so we can't talk about it Oh, okay. <laughs> that year, remember? No, but oh, uh, the only other things that I have coming up is a big Tony party at the Stonewall. I do the Tonys and the Oscars at the Stonewall. We're the biggest, um, uh, one of the five top places to watch the Tonys in a bar, you know, That's atmosphere. So great. So it's at the Stonewall Inn on 53 Christopher. It'll be um, uh, the 12th of September, and all of the proceeds go to Angelic Cats. For saving cats. Yes. Do you have yeah. cats? I have one cat, Bruno. And you love him? Well, Mikey. She loves Mikey, Bruno. I love Bruno. But Mikey feeds him every morning because Mikey gets up at the crack of dawn every mm. day. I do. This one. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to feed the cat or he'll scream and uh, scream. You're a good morning person. You wake scream. up happy and everything, Mike. Oh, yeah. Ready to go? Oh, he's happy oh, every yeah. day except no. for when I do something bad. No. <laughs> I, I, I wake up ready to go. Wow. Yeah, I know. I, I We were talking before. <laughs> I heard you talking before. You, you're not into that. No, no, I can't. Not I can't at all. Oh, well, there's all the different people. There's night happen. owls and daytime people and nighttime people. That's I true. Could we need up them anytime. All. I we could wake up or, or, or not. <laughs> so I tell you what, Bruno, let's talk more about Bruno. Because yeah. let me tell you something. Bruno ran... It runs from everybody, but ran from me for the first three months that oh, I was yeah. here. I mean, literally would hide underneath chairs and tables and the closet. I closed the closet door. You know, everybody closes and the closet door. And he locked him in How long have days? you had him, yeah. Susan? Ten years. Ten years. That's so fine. now this cat, th she <laughs> thinks I've like drugged it or something. Commandeered the cat. Commandeered or something. But the only time it lets me pet is when I'm in the bathroom. Trying to have a little quiet time. <laughs> Here comes the cat, Meow, and then you got to pet it, and you know, and it won't leave. <laughs> it likes to be there when you poop. Oh, and there's a lesson in cats. <laughs> <laughs> this cat, Susan, tell me about your appearance on The Sopranos. Oh gosh, yeah. don't blink, but I am on it. Yeah, what happens? Snatching is children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happens is it's season two, episode ten, and um. I lose my son in a, a shopping mall and I come running up and I grab the kid and then I have a little line, a little exchange with Tony Soprano and then I roll my eyes at him because yeah. he says something to me 
and I roll my eyes at James Gandolfini. But let me tell you, James Gandolfini was such a regular Italian gentleman. You know, yeah. the first time he sees you, shakes your hand, gives you a kiss on the cheek. Nah, so nah. sweet. <laughs> and my vocal coach, um, uh, Mary Satrakian, she coached him for a movie called um, Cigarettes and Smoke. It was John mm. Turturro's musical movie. And... Um, she coached him on his singing, and she said that he was just, you know, regular and kind, and and uh, he just really was a great guy. That's a, it's a terrible loss. Yeah. yeah. Losing James Gandolfini. Because uh, I was just playing um, with Road Recovery on Wednesday, on Sunday night, and Simon Kirk from ba- Bad Company is one of the huge contributors. And he was playing the gig as well. And he was saying that, he was like, I wasn't going to watch that show. Sopranos, what is it, some sort of opera show? <laughs> <laughs> he starts singing like that. And he goes, but then I watched it. That's the best show ever made. But I have to say, in my opinion, the best show ever made is Shameless. Oh, I love Shameless. I'm addicted to Shameless. She is Why addicted to I, I want to go home and watch it. Yeah, she, like we'll probably watch an episode tonight <laughs> when we get home, believe it or not. Yeah. I believe it. I, I love, love Shameless. Wow. I'm hooked. I'm, I'm hooked. hooked. I was worried Michael I, wasn't hooked. I haven't hooked. seen I a worried. frame of it. Nothing. Do you have Netflix? Yeah. Or you could also... Devi- it's on Showtime. It's right. so good. I'll start, it. start from the first episode. Uh-huh. It's, it's funny at first. It gets deep at It time. gets deep and funny. And you know what they do? They, they, they do this like kind of roller coaster of funny and deep and funny and deep. And, and every character has some sort of bot, bottom situation. Tragic flaw. with comedy. And yeah. the greatest character, though, is, is in my opinion, is... Uh, the lover, the 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 thug lover of Evan. What's his name? Uh, the gay kid. Oh oh, uh, Ian. Ian, his little boyfriend. Is what's his name? Uh, we don't know the I name. Don't remember. Anyway, he's so funny. Are you guys Chris. watching it or not? I don't understand. Yeah, no, no, well, we're, we're not good with names. Sometimes we fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we cut that part out of the show. Well, it's always good to have like a, a Netflix. Binge. Mine right now uh, has been. I just got done with it. Uh, Master of None. I think you should watch it. It's a it's a great comedy, and it was written by I think I believe his name is Aziz Azara, or, or if I'm not pronouncing. But it's really funny. Can you pull up Lavinia? We got to show a picture of Lavinia. Yeah, yeah, yes. I was. Lynn I, Portis I had is Asperger. watching. She is. Yeah. Hi, Lynn. We hey, talked Lynn. about a musy. Yes, yes, we did. We did. Oh my gosh! Call in, Lynn, and it's, do an amusy. Yes, it's yes. is she watching? Is that one? Is that good? Oh, there she is. Yes. Wow. Lavinia. That's Lavinia. Yes. I think I took, wow, that, very good oh, picture. Her. You know who took that? Lori Lawrence, oh, who just great. passed away. So that's let's right. have a moment. Oh. Okay. Breathe. <laughs> Lori, we love you. Let me tell you something. Lori was so joyful that night. She came to see me for Chocolatina's going away party, and then a tragedy happened. And um, you guys, life is short, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, Chris, it's like you don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, she sat there with me and Mike in the hallway of the Stonewall, happy as a clam, showing us pictures, so happy for me and Mike's love. This, happy, happy, happy. Next thing we know, she's in a coma. Wow. I just... I don't know how these things, it's just life. Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen. Very unexpected. So every day has got to be a good day. Yeah. That's why we turn to And a to chance Savannah. to be kind and, and loving and to tell people that you love them and to, to laugh and hug and as much as you possibly can. Yeah. And eat. We eat good. Food, yeah, we eat very well. Yeah. You think when you when you kick food. the bucket, are you going to be like, "I'm sorry, I had that bag of potato chips"? <laughs> I mean, come on. At this point, yeah, I think <laughs> in my <laughs> life, yeah, I, I had a colonoscopy yesterday. How'd that go? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Boy, <Boring>. yeah. <laughs> wow. I just thought I'd That's throw that in. That's grown up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Sunday, I had to stay in, not have anything to eat, only liquids. Yeah. And I had to drink this disgusting drink. I know, you drank it? Yeah, yeah. How did and, you do uh, that? I, I, you know, the first one was easy. The second one was tough. You know, I was just, it was late at night, and then I stopped, and then I went in, and, and they did what they had to do. It didn't, you know, no, nothing. I didn't even yeah. feel it. I fell asleep. I woke up. It was done in less than an hour. And how's your ass good? They're good, yeah. Good. yeah good. A couple of minor problems. I'm proud of you. But, you know, it's working. <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of you being all grown up. Yeah, yeah, my mom passed on some of her... Uh, 
attributes to me are hemorrhoids. So, <laughs> oh great, yeah, yeah, that was I nice of her. Oh, why not? You know, my mother passed on to me no tooth right here. I have to have a bridge. Yeah, we I were noticed both that. Born Let's with talk no about tooth. that. Let's what? talk about you missing teeth now. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I know Florida is all fancy and smancy, but it's also a little backwards, no? Listen, <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's Listen. keep it positive. No, no, we can What do is this? Wacky Wednesdays, no, Lavinia no. Draper. Look at this guy. Look at the director, man. Yeah. I love it. He's awesome. I love him. That's, That's Fire great. Island. That's my Fire Island show with uh -huh. DJ Kenny Woodhouse. Yeah. Kenny's, I think Kenny was. Was he watching us? I think so. Oh, my God. How do you Great, know? great photo. Great photo. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You know where that's from, Greg, Chris? put the camera on. That's from the Mer Mercury right. Ballroom. I was doing a gig. I'm doing a split in that picture. Right. Oh, I yeah, love you do a lot of splits. your splits. I like to do splits. I love your splits. I just Dance saw you do one the last time at the, um, was it the, the duplex? Yeah, probably. Or the Stonewall. The Stonewall. The Stonewall. Stonewall. I love to do splits. It's unexpected. It's amazing. Yeah, you, you, you land hard. Yeah, right yeah. on the kucha. Oh wow! Well, I, uh, what, what does that so feel amazing. like? I'm just gonna leave. Is any uh, any suction involved when you? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no, usually when there's oh, a. This one, right? Oh, that's from my show, um, Five Minutes Miss Draper with Lynn Portis. What a, an amazing wow. show that is too. Wow. Fun, right? Awesome. Wow. I love that show. A lot of good shows over there. A lot of good shows. You know. What, coming out of the Stonewall. Oh, oh yeah, Lady yeah. Bunny. Yeah, the Oscar it, parties are always great to go. Oh yeah, you guys have to come to the Oscar party. She ha yeah, the Oscar party because last, she hosted it right there. Th there's yeah. raffles. Yeah, and you get big prizes. I you, was there. Yeah, Chris always. It's comes. always Amazing. it's always fun. It's always great. So you, much fun. I have the, the whole, best time always. Yeah, the way the whole evening come goes, where the audience gets to see every. Every award, you you guarantee them oh, that they're yeah. going to see every see, award, no matter. You stop the show right away. It's funny the way no, you start the so show, funny. but yeah. you're, on the Oscar party, I can have packed, my friends come packed. perform. This year, Michael Woolley will be coming, but in the Tony party, Michael um, Plotsky, who's uh, Chocolate Tina's dress designer, who will be making my wedding dress because my wedding dress is a bikini. I'm going to tell you just really wow. quick off topic. I'm going to wear a bikini. I and know. then I'm gonna have what? Okay, Chris. So I won't talk about it. Uh, but I'm not getting. I don't. Where know. are you getting? You get married in Florida, of course. I bat. We're gonna get married bat at the Rocks. Beach. Bat oh, the beach. Rocks. Yeah, the Rocks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bathtub rock. beach. But the rocks is a private beach. So we Listen, can't tell people about the, the wedding break is part. Great. Is so, you're all beach. invited, but it's not going to be the the thing. The wedding's going to take the half hour at the most. Nothing big. Half hour. That was like five minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> But the, what I want is swimming, surfing, fun. See, it's already fun. getting complicated. I want pig roast. I want fun, fun, fun. I want to go to the beach. All you need is a bathing suit and a blanket or a towel. We're going to roast a pig in the and sand. And we're going to roast a pig in the sand. And the wedding's going to be me walking in with my brother. Bell, bells ring. I want bells ringing. Say what we're going to say to each other. Kiss, kiss, kiss. And my then niece, go in the my ocean. My sister, then go in the ocean. That's beautiful. That sounds That's so it, quick. beautiful. We're having a beach day. Amazing. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Yes. So you guys are invited. Congratulations. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Can we do a awesome. live broadcast? Yes. From, uh, yes. Really? Of course you we can. Set it up. Oh, yeah. let's do it. I know it. people in Stewart, Florida. I would love it. Come on. When, when did you set a date? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> We have to get through the engagement. You got everything yeah, but the date. Yeah, yes. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we have too, Greg. <laughs> yeah, everybody's engaged here. I want to announce my engagement. Yeah, they, yeah. Greg, you you can feel it, right? You know what I'm talking about. It's the end. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, cool. It's a cool thing now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it? what all the cool kids are doing. Just oh, getting engaged. <laughs> forget up, forget the know? marriage You're thing. Yeah, right. You're working just, up, you know? No, it seems like it's a lot of fun. <laughs> listen, oh, you know what, yes. Chris? Listen, I'm to all me. ears. Your heart is big. Yeah. And your soul is small, but your oh. heart is big. <laughs> 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 I think that you're going to fall in love. Susan, tell a story where you uh, yelled at like an audience member to throw Michael just out. You, okay. You, like the guy must have been eight foot tall. Go ahead. So every night as Tina, I would get somebody from the audience to throw Michael just out. And Michael, Michael just is guy, Tina's ex-boyfriend ex who crashes the wedding. I would just go up to like some random guy and be like, look, you got to throw him out. I can't take it anymore. Please do this for me. My mother's freaking out. My husband's freaking out. I'm freaking out. Please. So somebody would like go up to him. Hey, man, you really got to go and get the audience involved. This one night, I got Hulk Hogan from Jersey City 
to pick up my friend mm. Joe Dallow, mm-hmm. who I love. And as Joe Dallow is over He Man Hulk Hogan shoulder mm-hmm. like a rag doll, the guy bashes his head into a stone pillar. Yeah, the, those glass cubed walls, right. those thick friggin' walls. Wow. On purpose? Bef- we we no, didn't know what was happening. No, he just picked the guy. It wasn't on purpose. No, no. It was an accident. He just swung around. He didn't know he was going to, right. uh, you know. It's a crazy show. Like, it's all hell breaks show. loose yeah. at one point. And it's so like, if you're in it and you're playing Tina somewhere in the world, please don't do what I did. Yes. Because I am a bad person. But Joe, we go to the hospital. We all rush to see him. He was so sweet. He knew it really wasn't my fault. He took it like a soldier. Yeah. He was a great Barry. We had a blast with him in the show. Oh, yeah. And a great Michael Justin. And our old Barry is getting nominated for a Tony. I, I mean, for um, Oslo. Wow. I don't want to say Michael it's unbelievable because I totally believe it. He's so brilliant. Uh, just great. Michael we Aronoff. Go see it. Yeah, we got to all go. Janine yeah. Molinari and I were talking about it today. We got to go see Oslo. We're going to do it. We should just get a group. Yeah. Would love that. I'm going to go soon. Yeah. I, I got to go soon. We got to go soon. Yeah. Nominated for a Tony. He's this great actor. His first break was in the um, film version of... Um, Hedwig. Hedwig, yeah. But before that, he made this amazing film with our friend Matt... Bonifacio. Bonifacio. Pounds. Where he, pounds, where he loses so much weight. This is just a small indie film. Are you referring to Pound trailer? Go ahead, Bob. He and, and he lost all this weight because he turned into a junkie in this film. I mean, he's just a brilliant actor, brilliant actor. He was, and I'm very excited to see him. And then he had he, had, he did a one-man show, uh, Man Enigma, I think it was right. called. I videotaped that and just and blew And then he me was away. in Golden Boy, amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. And he spent maybe three months in Tony Tina's wedding. He was in there for a little while and yeah. then he got out. Yeah. <laughs> he in had his out. taste of inter- interactive comedy. And Put he goes, it in, all right, I out. did this. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> all right. That's all right. But Everybody you know, look what it moment. did. Look, he met Matt. You know, he wouldn't have met Matt if he didn't come into Tony and Tina's wedding. Yeah. And that role was something else for him. That killed it. I mean, the whole thing was Carmine losing the weight. But Michael, but he Michael transformed. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I, I saw him one night of shooting. I went on the set to see him and I looked. I was like, holy shit. And I went up to Matt. I said, Matt, what's up with Michael? He's, He's looking. Method. He's looking weak. And he's like, no, dude, he's losing weight. He's doing this for the movie. I'm like, oh, 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 my God. Yeah. Holy smokes. He's the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we we had a good run with Michael. It was fun having it with him. Yeah. I remember once he was practicing his guitar to sing the song in the church, the wedding song. Right. He didn't even play the guitar, but he wanted to play it. So I was teaching him the three chords. Three chords, that's all it is, you know? So finally he goes, Chris, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I'm like, all right. So he goes up there and he's ready to play. And our friend Pete untunes the guitar before he goes up there to play. And Michael starts strumming. It just sounded horrible on the guitar. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Oh, I remember it because we had a little problem, me and Peter. And, uh, and he just he put the guitar down. He just started clapping. He, Barry started clapping, singing the song. Right. And we got good. through the wedding song by just clapping. And he, it was great. It was great. Oh, mo- and, you uh, know, that Pete, he's a jokester. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's something else. He's something else, uh, that Pete. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> <laughs> and that too. Yeah, and that too. But um, The best was when I got that big, gigantic uh, Chiquita Banana bride's gown, and me and me and uh, Scotty were, were with Matt Bonifacio, and we were riding the tricycle back from yeah. the church, and it got caught in the spokes. Oh, my God. And they had me... Had to cut me out of the wow. tricycle. This right. wow. gorgeous brand new wedding oh gown that gosh. I begged for. Wow. They had to cut me out of it. Wow. So I did the second part of the show all in a ripped up wedding gown. Uh-huh. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> did you get a. What are we looking for? A trailer, the pound trailer or something else? The Lavinia Facebook no, he got, page? He got it. He got it. Which he one? put me up. Which one do you think you're supposed to be called? The pound trailer. Should we do Pounds trailer? Which one which one you want? The, the Lavinia page? No, he put it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, he All put right. Lavinia up. Oh, we could put that up. It don't matter. If you can find it, Pounds is L B S period. It's not pro, uh, spelled out P O W or P O U or however they spell it out there. Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it had its run. Go on Google. 
and type in LBS period okay. and see what comes up. So, Susan, tell me a little bit about um, Scotty Balecki. Talk about Scott. Oh, you had Scott. a long run of Tony and Tina's. Yeah. Scott is Tony and Tina. Man. So, when I first met Scotty, um, we were playing uh, Donna and Dominic wow. at Windows of the World. Holy cow. And we were yelling at each other from across the room. Yeah. Oh, no. When I first, first met Scotty, he had long hair all yeah. the way down to his butt. And it was like shaved mine. in the back like mine is now. He had it shaved in the back. and um, Sounds like Greg. <laughs> and he came to Maria Gentili and my comedy show, The Bee is Broke. Mm -hmm. And Oh, I, I, see. I remember that oh, was so yeah, yeah. funny, man. I fell in love. Oh, that's a funny trailer, Just Eat Me. But that you shot that. Yeah, yeah. That was pff, Yeah, Chris. that was fun. You were amazing on that. Thank you. You got but you guys... every single everything. You got what well, is one take on everything. Yeah, one take. It was like it was amazing. Amazing. That but, was a great day. Uh, yeah, the locations were fun. Day. We ran around that neighborhood. Yeah, ran around. Maria was just so funny. It, I mean you too, but oh, okay, I mean. so it's called Just Eat <laughs> Go ahead. I forgot what Just it, Eat With Me. Just Eat With Me. You can Google it. It's me and Maria going around the city in one hour eating whatever we can eat because right. she was on this crazy diet right. where you starve yourself most of the day, but for one hour you could eat what you want. And so she called me to come eat with her. But it starts off where I come jogging up. It's so funny you when know? you jog up. And she's like, I'm like, what? What? What's wrong? What's wrong? She's like, look, Susie. I, I'm like, what's wrong? Oh, my God. And she's like, look, I'm on this diet. And, and I, you got to help me. I'm like, I'll do whatever no you car, want. Whatever what, you want. No carbs. Yeah. But I can eat whatever I want for an hour. Yeah. So we just started eating, <laughs> talking about life, talking about life. Uh -huh. It was you funny. You even got the piece of Where, tuna that fell on the ground. Can you find that? Can you Google just eat with me? It should come up. I'll come over there and look. Yeah, No good? Savannah, well, talk, you guys okay. can Google it. Talk real quick. Yeah. Ask her a question. Savannah, what have you been up to? Is this are we are you are we on? How about if Susie sings a, sings a song? Would you like to sing a song? I'd love to hear you sing a song. You want me to are, sing a song? Are we audible? Only if we're audible. Yeah, we could do another karaoke track. You got a song? Oh, you eagle. We, we should got sing. We got, we got, what'd we yeah. get? We got just eat with me. Oh, that's hilarious. So load that up. There it is. Oh my God. Hilarious. We should just, we should really play the beginning. Yeah, how long is it? It's like 20 minutes, yeah, but we should so play long. the beginning. This is so funny. Mikey. Chris how many Shoppes. years ago? Oh 15? my God. This is like 15 years ago. Are you on your way? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I need you. It's, no, this is very important. This is. She's so. You know what? I need a friend right now. All right, it's <laughs> a big day. <laughs> it's a, It's very important. I'll explain when you get here. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and we're waiting for Susan. She's mad. Like there I'm she jogging. Goes, yeah. This is mine, right? Just jog down. You say. <laughs> Look what I'm wearing. Sorry, I'm late. I jogged down. <laughs> it's just, it's, 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 I don't even know how to say it. Fantastic. I'm just going to say it. I've been on what? this fucking diet for two fucking years. Two years I've been on a diet. Uh -huh. A low-carb <laughs> diet. You know what that means? Protein vegetables. Protein vegetables. Two years trying to make somebody else happy. And this is what I'm going to do. Just for today. Just for one hour, Susie. Just for one hour. Just be my friend. I want to reintroduce carbs into my body. That's all. Just one hour. I'm not going to go crazy <laughs> off of it. I'm going to stick with the protein. Like my face. And I'm just going <laughs> to introduce some carbs. I, I, I don't want to gain any weight back, but I just, I, I just, that's what I need. And, and if you would just eat with me. Just one hour. <laughs> You're not on a low carb diet, right? I never go on a diet. All right, good. <laughs> See, look at you. That's what I want. I just want to live a normal energy. life. Well, I don't have to worry about dieting. Well, you got to exercise. I told you you got to exercise. Well, I start. I'm going I'm I'm to start doing that. <laughs> So, is there anything wrong? No, I just, I, I, I have a lot on my mind and I just, I want to read anything wrong. So All I right. figured, well, what do you uh, want just to? for one hour. So if we start right now, what is it, two, yeah, it's like two, two o'clock, whatever it is, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Let's just, if we have two, right. I have so five places I want to go, 
12 and a half minutes to each place. 12 and a half minutes? Well, that's what I'm allotting. Do you have a stopwatch? No, I, we're just going to look at the clock. And All I, right. yeah, I got a couple stops. Will you start with me? Just do this for me. What and do I got to do? do? Just eat with me. All right, I'll eat. I didn't okay. eat. I'm hungry. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. It's 2 o'clock, so we go now. All right, let's go. So we'll be down at 3. Right, Red Sox watch this, too. All right. Honey. We're in the same just, top. We're going to start with sushi. Go sushi. And, and now we have protein with a little rice. So they say like uh, any like white foods, like, like well, no, uh, 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 avocado. Let me like just California. order the food. I'll order. Oh, all right. You don't. I don't care. I'll eat everything. You know, I'll eat everything. All right. <laughs> so we're going to some protein. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, go. Chris did that amazing. Was great. That, oh, was yeah, great. That's amazing. that was so great. That was so Yeah, oh, great. you guys, whoever's that was watching. So funny. Uh, uh, oh, Leisha, so watch the rest day. of it we were, because yeah. really, Chris just captures like a fire truck and captures like tuna fish falling. He's just on it. <laughs> we had so much fun. We had so much fun. I know. That was a great short film. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Okay. We'll, st we'll start doing more of it. More and more short films. So we'll sit, sit down. We got this great studio. We should do some stuff out of here. You got to come up Now we got Mike Raymer. We got Mike Raymer. Still photography. And um, videographer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and uh, let's uh, let's work on getting you behind this table to do a couple of shows. As Lavinia Draper. As yeah. Lavinia Draper. We're gonna do it. Because Lord knows, you know, Susan Campanaro is just. That would at be least great. you have an excuse for being. Great. What I what yeah. I think we should do is I will come on as Lavinia and we will get like a cast of crazy drag queens. Wow. To yeah. come out. Let's that get them up here. Amazing. Yeah. I'd love to see you and Jerry do a song together. Oh yeah, me and Jerry. Let's start incredible. there. Yeah. I think Another it's amazing performance. Oh, amazing performance. <laughs> Jerry should just keep changing and be different people. I'll be like, who the and I'll yeah. just get drunker and drunker. Well, he actually has a new show that he just announced coming out right. that he's going to be uh, he has a whole variety of everyone. So. Really? Yes. That's amazing. He's a uh, he's a hardworking guy. He's, he's gonna always do up it to something. That kid. Uh, he's gonna do it some places, but I, you know what? He would love to get in touch with you. And, and oh yeah, and yeah, work yeah we were doing. You. Yeah, I don't, talk you don't to work him. for free. You don't you. work for free. <laughs> you don't. You don't work for well, free. Well, I'm getting kid. paid for this. <laughs> so, for what? Uh, for this? this? Yeah. Oh, um, you're getting a ride to the path. No, I think that I am in need of. Oh, is this the goodbye music? Is this what is this? Do you know what I think? Yes. I think I should sing a goodbye song. Okay, that's a great idea. Oh, I think we that, should end with Frank so Sinatra. Awesome. Can yes. you find Can you find Fly Me to the Moon? Oh my goodness. From my father Richard in heaven. Oh, that's so Do beautiful. I look like Google, guys, come on. Now. Okay. Chris. <laughs> Greg, I thought you were like a webmaster. <laughs> There's something wrong with Greg. Something is awry There's with Greg. Something wrong. Something's awry. <laughs> <laughs> Check his batteries. <laughs> it's past He's eleven. The configuration is a little bit it's a little bit confusing. Little yeah, confusing. yeah. We keep changing the configuration. So. <laughs> Karaoke. That's true. This one I'll have to hear. Frank, right? Frank from my father. Oh, that is so beautiful. Turn it up. So why wouldn't you want one? <laughs> Oh, the commercial. Mike told me all about that. We gotta get we gotta get sponsors for Chris DePiro's Fort Lee right. Studios show. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Uh... Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. We will see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I hope for, all I worship and adore in other words please be true in other words i love you oh boy. 
fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. We will see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. Oh boy. <laughs> In other words, baby, 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 come kiss me. That's it. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. Nice. You are all I hope for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, baby, baby, in other words, I love you. Awesome. Thank you awesome. so much, Thank Susan you. Campanero, Thank for you, coming Chris in. And, and I and love Greg. you. All, all love the you way guys. from fancy Chelsea. Chelsea with my loves, fiance, Mike Kramer. Thank she you loves so telling much. people she's from Chelsea. This I'm yeah. from Chelsea. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Yes. Uh, you can catch us, guys. beautiful song. Go on her. And your beautiful pictures. Uh, yes. And thank you, thank, thank you for inspiring us and keep doing what you do. Oh. And bless you both. And on I your look journey. forward to the next time where the three of us are performing. Today. Yes. Yes. Hopefully it's very soon. Please go on Facebook. Or four of us with Greg. And uh, search Lavinia Draper. <laughs> Lavinia and find Draper. out all about Lavinia Draper. And she does great shows. Uh, her she shows really last does. about two to three hours. She's amazing. You just amazing keep going. songs. And uh, I have. I, I love your. Uh, there she is. Th- There's is that Lavinia. Her? That's, That's it. my Facebook page. Wow. There's Lavinia. Holy cow. Wow. Look I'm at doing my her. Bikram yoga. I yes. love your uh, Amy Winehouse Look songs. Look at the body. Oh, yeah. Sang. You should have sang one of those tonight. That would have been. Well, then when I come back, I'll get really <laughs> drunk with my bottle. Uh, yeah, please. I'm going to come back as Lavinia. I videotaped you once. So you were great. like laying on your back on the floor, oh, still yes. singing a so song. Fantastic. One back time in black, Chris, it was so funny. Chris got me sleeping. Remember that cut? Yeah. <laughs> I, at le- therapy bar. I was at therapy for 10 years. Chris would come and I, was, I would just fall asleep. Oh, Chris, it was so funny, <laughs> man. And then I'd wake up singing. <laughs> That's so great. And my favorite line is that Lavinia slept with uh, Ted Kennedy. He's got a marvelous penis for an Irishman. It's not true. Well, thanks again, Susan. I love Michael, you. thank you so, so much, much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. 13 at welcome Roma to the family, Michael. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Love Appreciate you. It. So You're much welcome. For being here. Guys, uh, tune in tomorrow night. We're going to be doing a, uh, a live broadcast from Oliveri's. It's a new pizzeria in North Bergen. They got a uh, brick. Uh, Cold brick pizza in the oven. It's amazing. We're going to do it live on location. And then uh, after that, we have, uh, uh, wait, is that tomorrow night? I think that's Thursday night. I'm so sorry. Uh, special edition of Pizza Time on Thursday night. Tomorrow night, we're going to have Rob Meyer here from Meyerville with special uh, uh, guest host Nika Elliott, a great comedic actress from Manhattan. She was awesome. in, uh, she, she played the ventriloquist and, and uh, oh, Murder at the Strip yeah. by Vinny Nardiello. Wow. Yeah. So, she's guys, awesome. thanks. Yeah, she's awesome. Uh, Silvana, thank you. Thank Just you. W- wonderful as usual. And thank, thank you for you. putting up with me. Thank you. You know, it's all it's a fuss. All, Don't all ever touch me like... again. Get your hand off me. <laughs> uh, can we just bring up Rumpy a little bit again. of techno music while I'm speaking? <laughs> thank you. And sending and, uh, all love and prayers to everyone. Of course, we want to thank our uh, director. Uh, I'm just here to there he is. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Thank she's you, awesome. Greg. Thank yes, you. You're awesome. Once again, all uh, prayers for... Uh, uh, the unfortunate in, in, in Manchester, just a horrible thing. Yes, and, and in um, all the world and all that need them and all that need the great prayers and yes. so sending it. loving vibes and God bless us all. God bless us all. Thank you and thank you, everybody. If I don't see you in the future, we'll see you in the pasture. Let's bring up the Fort Lee Studios logo. When you get there, it is. Yeah. And raise up the music a little. 